This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at collision theory. Collision theory states that reactant particles must collide with each other to have a chemical reaction. Colliding particles must satisfy two conditions. The first is that they must collide with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy for the reaction. The second is that they must collide with the correct orientation or geometry. In this video, I'll be looking at the second point. Activation energy will be covered in the next video. So next we look at the difference between an unsuccessful and a successful collision. Note that in both these examples, we assume that the reactant particles have sufficient energy to react. So in our first example, which is an unsuccessful collision, the reactant particles approach each other. However, they collide with the incorrect orientation. No chemical reaction takes place and the reactant particles separate. Our next example is a successful collision. So once again, the reactant particles approach each other, but this time they collide with the correct orientation. A chemical reaction takes place, which results in the formation of products. So the difference between these examples is that in the first one, the reactant particles collide with incorrect orientation and no chemical reaction takes place. And in the second example, the reactant particles collide with the correct orientation, resulting in a chemical reaction.